The Wiz hit Broadway like a thunderclap back in 1977. There had been all-black musicals before, most notably Porgy and Bess, and several reviews, but here was a show that incorporated Motown, soul, and even disco to tell the L. Frank Baum classic The Wizard of Oz in a way notably different from the Judy Garland film. One song, Ease On Down the Road, even became a big hit. But after nearly 1,700 performances, The Wiz fell into disrepair. A flop movie with Diana Ross and Michael Jackson didn't help, nor did a short-lived revival in the 80s. The culture had moved on, pop music had moved on, and the script was dated. A live television production in 2015 brought new interest again, and now we have The Wiz on a pre-Broadway tour at Broadway SF's Golden Gate Theater through February 11th. Much has been changed in this production, with a partially rewritten book by actor-writer Amber Ruffin, and some songs are gone and others reordered. Toto is completely gone, and there are new orchestrations with melisma vocals that resonate with today's pop music styles. This whiz is a technological marvel, using rear LED video panels to create massive sets that appear three-dimensional and expanding the stage to take in all of Oz. Once we leave Kansas, everything is technicolor. Vibrant reds, greens, yellows, blues. The costumes, the set design, it's all eye-popping. And there's the dancing, choreographed by Jaquel Knight, notable for his Beyoncé videos. The ensemble work in particular soars. And it's everywhere, the dancing, in almost every scene. Add in the remarkable Wayne Brady as the Wiz and Melody A. Betts as Evelyn, the Wicked Witch of the West, and their respective spectacular turns in Y'all Got It and No Bad News. Of course, when you dial everything up to 11, the human angle slips to the side. Nichelle Lewis as Dorothy and Avery Wilson as Scarecrow do their best. But when they're not singing Ease On Down the Road, you might want to ease on down to the next ensemble number. The Tin Man's ballads and Lion's comic numbers and their performers, Philip Johnson Richardson and Kyle Raymar Freeman, get lost in the shuffle next to the spectacle and showstoppers. But it's still the Wizard of Oz, and Dorothy is still the little girl lost, rescued by her friends, yearning for home. For the audience, though, they'd much rather stay in Oz. The Wiz plays at Broadway SF's Golden Gate Theater through February 11th. For more information, you can go to broadwaysf.com. I'm Richard Walensky on Bay Area Theater for KPFA.